For any Soundflow users diving into writing their own scripts or editing ones they've found in the forum, you're going to love the new pick button in the Soundflow editor. This great new feature in Soundflow 5 allows you to pick a UI element and have its reference added to your script. Let me walk you through it. Let's first create a blank script by clicking the new button here, clicking script, and then entering the name of the new script. Say you needed to get the reference or UI element path of a button in Pro Tools. You can do this by selecting a new line in your script and then clicking the pick button here in the editor. Soundflow will ask you to select a UI element in the app you want to control. You can then use the Mac OS keyboard shortcut Command plus Tab to switch to Pro Tools. Once in Pro Tools, all you then have to do is select the UI element you'd like to get the reference for, then switch back to Soundflow and you'll see the reference has been added to your script. You can then work with the reference's path as you wish. In certain scenarios where the pick button doesn't fruit the results you want, you can always use the click UI element macro action instead, which will allow you to tailor the reference path. For any questions, head over to the Soundflow user forum and create a thread in the how-to section. And until next time, happy Soundflowing.